Last year, I hiked up a sand dune at sunrise to get some photos of a Lego A-Wing. This year, I decided to do something similar, but with Luke Skywalker's land speeder. My idea? Build Lars Homestead, which is where Luke grew up, to use as a backdrop for the photos. What I had to work out was, what on earth would I do with the homestead once I had my photos? So I got started with the entry dome. It was 3D printed, but I felt it needed some more texture, so I covered it with filler, and then tried to smooth that out as much as possible. Then on to painting it, I got some new paints and tried my best. I apologise now for my terrible painting skills, I'm sure some of you will have some tips for me. With the dome done, it was time to move on to this building, which I think looks like a silo. It's actually the roof of this room, which I think is the workshop. It was printed in multiple parts that needed to be glued together, filled, sanded, and then painted. What I was missing now was all the other bits you see around, like the vaporators. Last homestead is a moisture farm, and the vaporators catch the moisture from the atmosphere. There are loads of other bits, like these cubes and these boxes. In total, I printed around 140 small bits that all needed to be assembled and painted. Now, I'm sure somebody is thinking, what about the pit? It's the part they actually lived in. I wouldn't need it for my land speeder photos, but decided I wanted to build it anyway. Which was pretty stupid, so I'd like to move from Abu Dhabi to the UK and should have been packing. It was far too big to be printed in one, so it was printed in 14 sections. I don't have much footage of putting it together as I was running out of time, but there was lots of gluing, filling, painting, and I added some sand to the floor. All that was left was to add some props and greenery. Oh, and I obviously needed a couple of droids too. And that was the pit finished. So now I was ready to pack up, head to the desert, bury it and get some footage. Again, I didn't leave enough time and was racing sunset to get it buried and get some photos. And here it is in the desert. I managed to grab a few photos of the land speeder and tried recreating a few scenes from the film. And then the sun set. I set up a few lights and got a few more photos, again trying to recreate a few shots. This photo of the pit turned out to be one of my favourites. Finally, it was time to pack it all up again, but this time in the dark. So what was I going to do with the homestead? Well, I came up with a plan that needed some key rings, so I made some. And I set the homestead up again, close to the city this time, and without the small bits. Put the key rings in a tin under the solar looking thing, and then shared the location with my followers on Instagram as a kind of unofficial geocache. If you want to build your own Lars homestead, links to the files are in the description. 